Rainfall City of General Santos is part of the Soxergen or Sox region in South Central Mindanao. The name is an acronym that stands for the region's four provinces, South Cotabato, North Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat, and Southern Gani, and two cities, Cotabato City and General Santos. The region, which is known as the 12th paradise of the Philippines, has extensive coastlines, valleys, and mountain ranges. Adventurous travelers may wish to conquer the vast mountain wilderness or explore the many forests, caves, and wildlife reserves. The Sox region is also known for its cultural diversity, the artistry of different ethnic linguistic groups that lends richness to local colors as does the Muslim culture rich heritage. The settlers from Luzon and Visayas, on the other hand, bring colonial and modern influences into the mix, resulting in a wonderfully woven tapestry that is distinctly Mindanaoan. Join me this afternoon on this cultural journey as I take you from my beautiful Jensan to the cool highland mountains of South Cotabato, to the white beaches of Sarangani, and to the Grand Mosque in Cotabato City. Here we will discover the Sox region's multicultural art scene in this special edition of My City, My SM, My Art. Due to its rugged terrain, Serangani's uplands are the domain of indigenous mountain tribes such as Blaan, Tagakaulu, Diboli, Manobo, Ubo, and Kalagan, who have been residing in the mountains for generations. The province is also home to Muslim tribes, notably the Maguindanaoans of Malapatan, who are noted for weaving exquisite malong and inol cloths with their traditional hand loops. Another cultural gem is the daily decorated ginakit boats, which are paraded during the town's Pakarajan festival. Ronald Tamfalan is a Tibali born in the mountains of Barangay Falil, Kiamba, Sarangani province. Here, he is blessed with a beautiful panoramic view of Sarangani province and the Celebes Sea that gives him priceless inspiration for his artworks. As an artist, 
Ronald's paintings and sculptures convey much of his tribe's history and culture. While he dabbles in oil, Ronald also derives his colors from nature. Tree sap, soil, clay mud, limestone, mixing these with other media to create a variety of colors. Ronald has unselfishly shared his talent with his neighbors, and almost everyone in their free time learns to paint with him. And that, he has transformed his village into an art museum, with almost every home in it, into an art gallery. He has exhibited his works in many venues, including the Metropolitan Museum in Manila, an amazing voice for the indigenous art and themes. Just as Ronald's art is deeply rooted in culture and tradition, other Sarangani artists have taken a more contemporary route. We will meet one who creates his work with modern technology when my city, my SM, my art returns. Award-winning photographer Tito Jare Sempiliana has captured the beauty and people of his home province of Sarangani through his camera lens. With that, he has not only made more people know more about Sarangani province and its cultural diversity, he has brought much honor through his many awards. He was a champion in the Bangsi Festival Shootout category in 2017, as well as the recipient of the jury prize in the Mindanao Wide Photo Contest in 2015. Third runner-up in the Bangsi Festival 2016 Shootout category, second runner-up in the Timpuri Festival 2016 Festival category, and third runner-up in Pimpuye Festival's 2017 Shootout category. Cotabato City is a city of rivers and islets located in delta between two rivers, Tamontaca and Rio Grande de Mindanao, a major artery in the heartland of Mindanao. Its strategic location is made a witness to more history than any other place in Mindanao. As early as 1475, a settlement near the mouth of Rio Grande was already a trade center making this forerunner of Cotabato City the strategic gateway to the hinterlands of Mindanao, the seat of political, economic, and the center of culture. In the 19th century, roads and wharfs were constructed which gave rise to the birth of modern-day Cotabato. Christianity was introduced by the Spaniards in 1870 in the area, and from 1950s to the 1960s, it was the second largest and most progressive city in Mindanao.
Jay Mac Akol is the artist from Cotabato City. He currently is enrolled at Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges in General Santa City, where he is a resident choreographer and one of the principal dancers of the renowned RMMC Teatro Ambahani. As a graphic artist, costume designer, and choreographer, J. Mack discovered painting through his artistic director, Bing Carino, who mentored him. Largely self-taught, he created a body of work with a few months that impressed a local collector who will present him in a one-man show in the gallery that this collector is building. When director Gutierrez Teng Mangasakan II filmed Daughters of Three-Tailed Banner, won the Grand Jury Prize in the world premiere film festival in 2016, he said that this honor is for the Philippine cinema, a testament to its richness and diversity. In the film, which explores the stories of women and their struggles on the eve of the inaugural of Bangsamoro government, Mangasakan tells stories of people and their struggles, which he says, are stories of Filipinos too. His grandfather was Datu Udong Matalang, founder of the Mindanao Independence Movement, which was formed in response to the Jabida Massacre in 1968. This inspired his documentary, Forbidden Memory, which recalls the memory of the survivors of a massacre by armed soldiers to keep the peace between Christians and rebels in Palimbang, Sultan Kudarat in 1974. His other films, Limbunan and Kiyama, elucidate Moro culture in different aspects, family, faith, and tradition. For his work, Direct Tang has not only given his people a voice, but also honors with his many awards. 
In 2012, Obscured Histories and Silent Longings of the Gulen's Children won the prestigious Lino Broca Award as well as Best Director in Cinema Manila, International Film Festival, Digital Local Category. Kiyama won the Best Film and Best Achievement in Film Editing in the Young Critics Circle of 2012. Forbidden Memory won the Festival Prize in the Cinema One Original Digital Film Festival in 2016. Cartas de Soledad, a thought-provoking and ambitious inquiry into the colonial past of Maguindanao and the director's personal history through an allegorical tale of physical and psychological imprisonment, won NetPak Award in the Jogja NetPak Asian Film Festival in 2011. Known as the breadbasket of the South, South Cotabato is becoming one of the fastest growing provinces in the Philippines. The people of South Cotabato have learned to appreciate and respect the culture of their neighbors and to peacefully coexist with one another. As a result, they have developed an eclectic culture which retains many of the practices and traditions of their tribal heritages, infused with a distinctly Mindanaoan flavor. There are over 20 different dialect spoken in the province, and almost everyone is multilingual. One of these is Mark T, an architecture student from Notre Dame of the Jangas University, who hopes to promote the diverse Mindanaoan art and culture. With that, he has actively participated in various community projects as assistant director for the Sambulayang Art Congress in Mindanao State University, event manager for the Kalilangan Festival Installation for Art Competition, and a participant in the National Commission for Visual Arts Forum in Ateneo de Zamboanga. He has exhibited his works in UNICEF Mindanao Art for Peace event and the Philippine Visual Art Festival in Taytay Rizal. Mark T has also been very active in joining art competitions and was champion of the Kalilangan Festival Painting Contest.
Daniel Santa City is the center of trade, commerce, and logistics in the Soxargen growth area. A highly urbanized first-class city, it is Tuna capital of the Philippines and the southernmost port city at the site of an SMO. It is also the gateway for tourism and culture in the region. With its proximity to Lake Cebu, the home of the Tiboli people famous for their exquisite tinalak woven fabrics, beadworks, and brass ornaments, and contemporary artists like Leonardo Rey Carino are also making Gensan a thriving art community. Although he decided to take interior design instead, his love for visual arts never left him. He had several one-man shows and won the grand prize in the Kalilangan Festival Pintura Competition. After his one-man show in 1992, Bing shifted to performing arts and concentrated on choreography and stage direction. He also taught humanities and visual communication classes at the Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges. Bing, however, continues to participate in group shows and the visual arts, including a two-man show in Davao with artist Anoy Katagye of Xavier University Museum in Cagayan de Oro. Martin Anthony Miliada is a graphic and traditional artist and illustrator and 3D and traditional animator. Trained in traditional and digital animation in the Korea-Philippine IT Training Center in Novaliches. His graphic designs appeared in collaterals for Jensen's major festivals, like the Tuna Festival in 2009 and 2010, and the Kalilangan Festival in 2009, 2010, and 2015. I started the no. I started uh, my foundation in drawing um, when I was a kid. I used to fill my notebooks with uh, doodles, uh, drawing. Even you know, during class, I draw. When I listen to you know, to the teacher, I draw, and then that's how I started. And then it evolved to um, using pastel chalk on felt paper, and then a little bit of watercolor. There came a time, uh, that was early 90s, I uh, 
I shifted to computer science. Nakita ko sa mga units meron na naka-install na free uh, Corel Draw uh, software. It's a um, uh, it's a computer graphic software. I pinag-aralan uh, ko yan for a few months. I uh, nawili ako na adik ako and then I, I mastered the software uh, in a short time. So yun na yung ginagamit ko. Up to now, Coral Draw pa rin ako. Yun pa rin ginagamit ko. Martin has won several competitions for his work, including the Regional E-Business Week in the Digital Fine Art, Digital Graphic Design, and Original Character Design categories. Award-winning artist Leroy News World is unlike no other, practically creating a world of his own, a space filled with alien-like figures, fantastic sculptures, and larger-than-life installations. In his Psycho Comp Reef installation for Bonifacio Global City's off-site public gallery in 2011, he used orange electrical conduits and cable ties to create a space populated with otherworldly fauna. New also created a bamboo and rattan boat-like structure. In the sand dunes of Bauai in Ilocos Nortes, he malas a Buhangin Festival in 2012, as well as his own vision of the gates of hell at the Manila Contemporary in 2013, a landscape built as home to his iconic cast of aliens and monsters. Born and raised in General Santa City, Nu has been drawing and creating art ever since he can remember. A graduate of the Philippine High School for the Arts and the University of the Philippine College of Fine Arts, his practice today overlaps with and intersects with film, theater, product design, and fashion. As an artist, he has staged numerous exhibitions and public art projects. Nu has been invited to participate in the 2008 Singapore Biennale and 2009 Fukuoka Asian Art Triennale. Nu has recently ventured into product design and his works have been exhibited as part of the Design Philippines Pavilion in the Salone Internacional de Mobile in Milan in 2013 and the International Contemporary Furniture Fair in New York in 2014. Nu also experiments with wearable art and has recently shown his brand of experimental fashion at the Istanbul Forum Fashion Week in 2013. He also designs sets, costumes, and puppets for film, theater, and dance production, and is a constant collaborator of the site-specific theater company, Sipatlawan Ensemble. He received the 2013 Phil Stage Gawad Buhay Award for outstanding costume design for the Tanghalang Pilipinos Ibalo. And then, of course, there's the iconic muscle dress he created with Kermit the Soro, which Lady Gaga wore for the video, Mary the Night.
Li Rainu has received several citations for his work, including the grand prize in sculpture in 2005 Metro Bank Art Awards. In 2009, Ateneo Art Awards, wherein he was awarded the La Trobe Residency Grant in Australia and the Artisan Gallery Residency Grant in Singapore, a nomination for the 2011 Signature Art Prize. He received the prestigious Cultural Center of the Philippines 13 Artist Award in 2012 and the Metrobank Foundation Award for Continuing Excellence and Service. This afternoon's episode has given us the opportunity to learn more and celebrate the works of Soxer Gen's very talented visual artists. We would like to thank Leonardo Ray Bing Salazar Carino, Martin Anthony Meliado, Ronald Tampalan, Tito Harris Centiliana, Shay Mac Akol, Teng Mangasakan, Mark T, and of course, Leroy New. <laughs> <laughs>